flat. Just me and Spock, we had a nasty Nazi alien. He locked our asses up. We found a hunk of crystal and a metal piece of bed. We made a laser face go and shot him in the head. Well, I was standing on the bridge when Sulu came to me. His eyes were full of tears. He said, Captain, can't you see? The ship is gonna blow through something I beseech. I grabbed the triple and some chewing gum and stopped the warp for breach. The dish. That's the way we do things, laugh, we'll make it shit up as we wish. Klingons and Romulans, they pose no threat to us. Cause if we find we're in a fine, we just make some shit up. What came after original series? Next generation! Next generation! <laughs> yes, yeah, the cartoon, but I'm not doing a cartoon. Next generation! Next generation! Just a child, and most think him a twit. But Wesley is the master when it comes to making up some shit. He's the guy you want with you when you go out in space. Just tell him, shut up, Wesley, if he gets in your face. And if you're at a party on the Starship Enterprise, and the karaoke player just plain old up and dies, set up on a train on field inside a can of peas, hold on to Jordy's visor and so he entertain his knees. And I said, that's the back of my name. Off the main deflector dish. That's the way we do it. We're making shit up as we wish. They pose no threat to us. Cause if we find we're gonna find, we just make some shit up. Alright, what came after Next Generation? Return of the Jedi! I'm gonna come down there and slap you with my flesh saber across the face. I promise you, it's gonna leave a big wet mark. <laughs> yes, Deep Space Nine! Now Cisco's on a mission to go in a bloody place. He loiters on a space station above a chore in space. The wormhole opened up and now they come from near and far. We'll keep the booze, the police, and back the fucking Jamadar. Remember in the day, they looked like Puerto Ricans and they dressed in gold lime. Now they look like heavy metal rockers from the dead, with leather pants and frizzy hair and lobsters on their heads. And I sang, that's the guy the Michael Lee, on the main deflector dish. That's the way we do things, laugh, as we wish. The Klingons and the Romulans, they pose no threat to us, cause if we find a way to find, we just make some shit up. That's right. Just make some shit up. What came after uh, Deep Space Nine? Voyager! Well, I was stuck on Voyager, pounding on the door, when suddenly it dawned on me I've seen this show before. Perhaps I'm in a warp bubble, slightly out of phase, because it was way back in the 60s when they called it Lost in Space. We were looking for a way to make the ratings soar. So we orchestrated an encounter with the Borg. Normally you'd think that that would get us into shit, but this one's got a smashing ass and a lovely set of tits. And I said, bounce the the Michael Beam off the main deflector dish. That's the way we do things live. Klingons and Romulans, cause if we find, we're gonna find. Enterprise. Well, then they made a new show, and it's called Enterprise. And it takes place a hundred years before Kirk was alive. They say that it's a prequel, or so that's what it's called. It's such a bad idea, you'd swear that Lucas was involved. They have a Vulcan female, but she's a nervous wreck. Her ass is green. <laughs> Sweet as seven. I get all tongue tied when I think of her ass. Her ass is sweet as seven's only green, so what the heck? They're in the past, but Klingons have those lobsters on their heads. I'm more confused than Wesley Crusher nude in Tasha's bed. I'm not anatomically correct. <laughs> and I say, don't survive the particle beam off the main detective. That's the way we do things like the Klingons and the Romulans. Bonus verse. Well, a big wig up at Paramount 
must have thought the franchise was stale by all accounts Cause he hired J.J. Abrams to give the thing a shove I feared that he would mock and mangle everything we love Well I went to the movies and there much to my shock There were hunky models playing Kirk and Spock Vulcan has been destroyed, the timeline has been crushed So someone tell me why I love this film so fucking much